Hey guys, welcome back and happy new year. I hope you guys all had an awesome time during the holidays. I had a lot of fun. I feel like I ate a lot. It's time for a nice little detox, um, which I'm working on. <laughs> um, anyway, I wanted to share my 2016 beauty favorites with you guys just because I feel like there were so many products that I was loving last year. Just so you know, I do a monthly favorites over on the blog. It's called Sona Select. So if you guys are curious to see what I'm loving every single month, then be sure to check out the blog and subscribe over there so you guys can um, get those updates whenever I do post about them. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's get started. I tried to fit everything in this makeup bag, which by the way, how cute is this makeup bag? It is by Ashley Brooke Designs. It is so cute. So the first product that I'm gonna talk about, I'm sure you guys already all know, it's the Identity Palette, and this is something that I designed in 2016. It took me a year to come up with the formula, the colors, just everything from packaging, and I just like, it literally is my baby, and I have to obviously talk about it first. I've used this already a ton on my channel, so I'll link some looks down below in case you guys missed it. But for me, this is the best neutral eyeshadow palette out there. And I'm, I'm not just saying this because I designed it um, or developed the colors. It really is like so good. And all of the colors, I put so much thought and effort into every single color that for me personally, I love just traveling with it, doing smoky eyes or neutral looks, just very versatile in that sense. The shimmers are highly pigmented and then the mattes are super buttery, very easy to blend. I'll just swatch a few just in case you guys have not seen it. Um, but this goes for $32. I'll obviously have a link down below with more looks and stuff like that. But yeah, this is this has been my go-to eyeshadow palette. So the next product has to be the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I might have covered this last year in my beauty favorites, but seriously, this is still my jam. I've tried so many different translucent powders. This guy is just the best. It looks so natural on the skin. It doesn't like make the skin crack or get cakey, which sometimes translucent powders can do that. And it does not add coverage, which is exactly what I like. So it's just overall an amazing product. I have two foundations and the first one is the Tom Ford stick foundation. This thing is so amazing. It gives you a flawless full coverage. I mean, it's medium to full coverage, so it's definitely buildable. But um, yeah, I gave this a try in 2016 and I fell in love with it. I've been using this since I got it a few months back. So it's probably my go-to stick foundation right now. Okay, so the next foundation that I've been absolutely loving in 2016 is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I love this for a full coverage foundation. If I'm going somewhere and I know I'm gonna be out all day, all night, I go for this just because it really does give you like a flawless finish and it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look too much, it just looks perfect. Um, I think if you have dry skin, you really have to moisturize your skin very well before using this. But other than that, I absolutely adore this guy. My favorite concealers for 2016 have been the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I feel like I've used this in like every other tutorial. It's so good. It gives you a full coverage, I would say, like medium to full coverage. But I just, I don't know, something about the wand being so big makes it easy to use. And the formula itself is just so good. I love this for the under eye area as well as for pinpoint concealing. I have every single shade and I absolutely love it. The second concealer I've been loving is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Custard is my shade, but this stuff is so good. I've actually been using this for years. I love how natural it looks. Um, unlike the Tarte Shape Tape, I feel like this one is a lot more natural, so it's great for every day, whereas the Tarte one I feel like is great for evening. I feel like this one just gives you more of an everyday natural finish. And the wand is a lot thicker thinner so you can really get in the inner corner so it's just great I, I mean I love them both it just depends on what I need the concealer to do for me I'm like going out of order here my absolute favorite primer of 2016 has to be the Too Faced Hangover Primer I love this I was actually debating whether or not I should talk about the Marc Jacobs or this one because I love both of these very much but I had to go for the Too Faced one just because I feel like I use this a little more than the Marc Jacobs one I like this if you have dry to normal skin I don't know if you're gonna love it if you have really oily skin because it does give you more of a dewy finish so 
for me personally, when I put this on, it just really hydrates my skin and my foundation looks amazing. I feel like my absolute favorite blush of 2016 has to be this Milani blush. I've used this in so many tutorials and I wanted to just talk about one blush because I feel like it makes it that much more special and the one blush that I could think of that I've used a lot this year or last year is the Luminoso by uh, Milani like I said this is just so beautiful it's like the most beautiful peach it's got shimmer in it but not too much because I have pores around this area and I always talk about how um, shimmer always accentuates that this shimmer is so fine that it actually looks so pretty on the apples of the cheeks so this has been my absolute favorite blush of 2016. The best mascara of 2016 for me has to be the Marc Jacobs mascara. Unfortunately, I don't have it on me right now because it's at the studio and I like looked everywhere and I don't have an extra one. Seriously, this stuff is so good. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It gives you so much fullness and volume. If that's what you're into, you are going to love it. I don't know if it gives you that much length, but specifically for me, fullness and volume is more important. So that's why I've been absolutely loving this mascara. My favorite bronzer, I feel like, of 2016 has to be this one. It's a very warm tone bronzer, so it's great for just overall bronzing your skin. But like when you're on the go and you don't have time to sit there and contour your face and then bronze it and do all this stuff, this has been just so good for those types of days where I just want some color on my face so that I don't look pale and then just walk out the door. This is the um, Laura Mercier bronzer in bronze number four. I guess four is my shade, but they have different shades. This stuff is just so good. It's a baked bronzer, so it also gives you a little bit of that glow and just a little bit of coverage. Another bronzer that I've been absolutely loving is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I know this isn't new or anything like that, but it's just a cult classic. I love it. It's so pretty for contouring. Unlike the um, Laura Mercier, this is great for contouring. I don't use this to like overall bronze my skin. I use this more to like chisel my face and make it look a little, you know, more defined. The best lashes for me in 2016 has to be the Lily Lashes. They're a little pricey. I think they're about $30 but they do last a long time. I do have a love-hate relationship with them. I know I've talked about this before because the band itself is so thick that it's almost like so difficult to put it on, but if you can just wear them for a night out or for photos or whatever, it is so beautiful. But I feel like if you want something more just natural for every day, then the Ardell lashes are probably the best. But these are just amazing on the eyes. They look so, so pretty. My favorite perfume of 2016 is this Erin amber musk perfume it's actually i got this like towards the end of 2016 but i've been obsessed with it and i it's very hard for me to like scents to be honest but this stuff smells so good it's um very musky and floral kind of combined it's very hard to describe what it smells like to be honest but if you're ever at a department store smell this guy it's so amazing i have the travel size of it too amazing Okay, so my favorite lipstick of 2016 has to be this one. Like, I feel like I wear this all the time. It's number 47 by YSL. I love this color, and it's so comfortable on the lips. It's a very nourishing type of a lip product where you could just throw it on, walk out the door, and feel like your lips are super, super hydrated. This stuff is so good, and look at the packaging. How gorgeous is the packaging? My favorite lip gloss of 2016 is this Urban Decay Nooner lip gloss. It's so nice on the lips. Like, it's just so pretty, and it gives you enough shimmer and shine and also coverage. Like, it's not just a lip gloss. It's got opacity in it, which is what I like. You don't need to put a lipstick to put this over. You could just put this on your bare lips, and it gives you color. Whoops gives you color and gloss at the same time. Another luxury lipstick I've been absolutely loving is this Christian Dior lipstick in 964. It's so beautiful. It's like this deep red. This is how it swatches. I know I'm like the worst swatcher ever. It's not very straight, but it's so beautiful. Usually when I wear something like this, I'll wear a minimal eye because it's so powerful. I wear this usually when I have a very soft eye going on. Super, super pretty. 
I've been really into lip oils in 2016 and I think my favorite one, even though I've tried so many different ones and there are a lot of great ones on the market, I think the best one for me has to be the Lancome one just because these are called Juicy Shakers, I think. Yes, Juicy Shakers. I just think they're so lightweight. You almost don't even feel like you have anything on your lips. They feel very hydrating and really comfortable to wear. Like I absolutely adore these guys. They have so many different colors too. So when you apply it, it gives you just a hint of that shade, whatever shade it is that you're going for. So this one, like you see how it just gives you a little bit of that color. It's like a tinted oil, which is awesome. So that's it for my 2016 beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have anything that you're obsessing over or you were obsessing over in 2016 in the comments below so that I can find more products to obsess over. <laughs> Other than that, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What am I trying to say? I don't know how to explain this. Like, it smells like... Sweat? <laughs> it does not smell like sweat. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know. I can't explain it.